What's going on guys, Andrew Pilikaki here, back again for a post-game review of the Toronto Maple Leafs vs. Vegas Golden Knights game. The Toronto Maple Leafs took this one 2-1. It was kind of a boring game to start this one, but towards the end, some scoring chances happened and it got a little bit more, little bit more interesting. If you're a fan of power plays and special teams, well, that happened a lot tonight, and this was also a Freddie Anderson game. He should have been all three stars. I think John Tavares said that in his post-game interview. Somebody posted a tweet of it on Twitter that Freddie should have been all three stars, and, you know, I can't help but agree. This was one of those games where if your goalie wasn't on, then you probably were going to lose the game, and Freddie was just absolutely incredible. Also, shout-out to Subban. He was incredible in the net for the Vegas Golden Knights. But let's look at some statistics. So the shots were 38-37 to 37 in favor of the Knights. The Leafs actually pulled away in shots uh, in the first period, but then they didn't have a shot for like almost the whole second period, basically. Uh, and then the third period, it kind of got a little bit more even. But the game started off in Toronto's favor, and Vegas really climbed back in in the second. Uh, in terms of face-off percentage, the Leafs were at 54%. The Vegas Golden Knights were at 46 So uh, the Leafs took the edge there, but it looked like Vegas was winning a lot of important draws. But uh, I'll have to look at the stats for, for the defensive zone versus the offensive zone. In terms of power plays, like I said, special teams were crazy. The referees made some brutal calls on both sides. I think Vegas got some penalties that they didn't deserve. There was a couple really weird ones. Same thing with the Leafs, but I think Vegas, they took a couple weird ones tonight. They were 0 for 5 on the power play. The Leafs were 1 for 6. Again, the Leafs power play can literally decide a game uh, if, if they wanted to, but being 1 for 6 is, is definitely not a good thing. Uh, get So 12 to 10 in penalty minutes in favor of Vegas. Uh, 29 hits for Vegas, 23 for Toronto. There was a couple really big ones throughout this game. There was one on Justin Hall. Uh, I think Trevor Moore laid some good hits. Uh, so both sides got their, got their hits in. Blocks, Vegas had 20, uh, 19 for the Leafs. It was pretty good. Both teams were getting in front of pucks. Uh, in terms of giveaways, the Leafs had 18 tonight. Vegas had 12. Oh, boy. Those numbers are really not good, so you got to watch those giveaways. That that just was not just not acceptable. Uh, the first goal of the game didn't come to the third period, and you know what? I'm not going to lie. I When we seen this goal, we're like, oh boy, first of all, that's a terrible giveaway by Cody Ceci, and second, we're like, the way this game's going, this might be the game winner. Max Pacioretty's fourth of the season unassisted. And I'm thinking, boy, this one really could be over. Then Austin Matthews just took over. He he decided just to score himself and uh, just keep shooting the puck. And he finally got one in. His 13th of the season assisted by Tavares and Riley. Uh, and that was a power play goal. So good for Matthews to get one. Uh, he uh, That shot was just incredible. I believe it was bar down. But the, the Leafs really needed that one. That, that one came about four minutes after. And then it got all the way to overtime. But the only way it got to OT was because both goalies were playing exceptional. Freddie down the stretch, though, made a couple really big saves. Uh, I thought Subban made a couple really good positional saves. But the Leafs really made Freddie work harder than he had to towards the end of the game. And he made a couple really key stops. And the Leafs also got a power uh, penalty literally right at the end of the third. So Freddie had to make a couple huge saves at the end and then a couple more in overtime. The Leafs were able to kill it off. They had a couple chances. But uh, Tavares buried his fourth of the season, assisted by Marner, and that was his 14th assist of the season. The assists on the Matthews goal, I think I mentioned them, but it was Tavares' fifth and Riley's 13th. So they're starting to pick up some, some numbers here. The Leafs need to start scoring in bunches, though, especially on the power play. Like I said, this was a special teams game and a goalie battle. This wasn't a ton of scoring. The Leafs seemed to play too much of a defensive style game to the point where they weren't even playing good defensively. It just looked like they were trying to play defense the whole second period. And, it, and you know, you can't let your goalie face that many shots. So I believe Vegas and Toronto now own the exact same record, 9-5-3, and three, unless it isn't updated, but I believe that's updated. Uh, so Toronto, I believe, is on a three-game winning streak now, starting to string together some wins. And I said, they're going to have to go on a little bit of a streak now. they got to start winning some games, because if they don't, teams are going to start to to win some games themselves, and it's going to be tough to climb back in. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this game. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Love to have more hockey conversations with you. Join the squad to get to 7,000 subscribers. I appreciate you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.